what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> we just finished up planting field 9 we are just moving over here to field 13 that is our next field to plant so we are going to go ahead and head on over here and um, get started uh, I think we're going to go over here to this corner and start I'm going to kind of start it at an angle, and then that'll make uh, going around on the headlamps a little bit easier, a little bit nicer, I guess. And I'm just going to get a GPS line set up. Perfect. It's right where I need it. Uh, we'll use this after we finish our headlands and while we do headlands on this side anyways Cool, this is going to pretty much line up for most of this field, which will be very, very nice. It's always helpful when things line up perfectly. You don't have to do tons and tons of adjustments. So I guess one thing that I haven't showed at all the past few videos is uh, some new updates came out for the farming tablet um, mod wow. uh, do all kinds of changes in here text color so we can make our text color look green and we can go uh, blue or we can just make it white kind of like that like that and blue logo green logo we got different farm arts I believe that is that app store Anyway, so they have two new apps as well. Um, they have the animal status and the storage overview scripts or apps. Um, so this one you can basically overview your animal animals, and this one you can keep an eye on your storage. Um, it only works with like the standard storage though, so for us it wouldn't work since we're using the grain bins. Uh, but when we do get the uh, uh, seed and fertilizer production facilities in the future we will get the factory script uh, because then we can keep an eye on those without having to drive all the way over to them uh, that's kind of one nice thing about that Let's see how well this is going to line up uh, it's not, oh well um it is definitely nice you don't have to drive all the way over to them to check on you know how full they are or what do they need or anything like that uh, that's always super helpful to not have to 
you know, drive all the way over to it. Um, I've enjoyed using that. I know we we used it on uh, in the first season. Uh, we used it to keep an eye on our silage silos, but we haven't bought in it um, this season. Here on season two, we haven't gotten it. But we don't really need it quite yet. We'll buy it when we need it. Um, the one thing too, like once we start using the factory or the farming tablet quite a bit, uh, we will have to look into getting the charging station. Um, so that way, you know, when it dies, we can go and charge it so we can still use it. There is also the Horsch um, field management app which helps you calculate how much seed uh, you can expect to use on a field and uh, stuff like that. Um, I haven't actually like looked at see if it is you know, legit to what it would actually need or not. I have not gone in and looked at that yet. Uh, I haven't really used that one or paid close enough attention to it <coughs> to figure that out. can possibly look into that one in the future as well. And of course now my email stuff is going to start coming through. Most of the time it'll come through like when I first start my computer, but a lot of times it won't come through until after a while. And in this case, it's been like an hour and a half or so since I turned it on. So some days it'll come through right away, others not so much. out this field edge here. Um, we do need to calculate this, so that way we have this edge path for in the future. In case we want to use course play in the future. Finally, almost all the way around once. I'm gonna go around mm, at least once more. Maybe we'll go around twice more. Have three headlands, <coughs> just to be safe. Although I think I think actually two will be just fine. Definitely gonna have a lot more planting videos this season, or just videos in general this season. Just because there's more land, so it's taking longer to do things. Perfect. That turned out very, very nicely. Oh. 
the fields that we're putting oats in are definitely some of the bigger, you know, the larger fields that we're running. <clears throat> Field five there is pretty decent size as well. Now let's see what the horsepower rating for um, this guy this requires 250 horsepower and our 84 is 215 hmm. so it's a little short well, is that right though it should be right at 215 but I just want to double check. Let's see where is the 84? I think it's back here a little bit. There it is. Yeah, it's just that single horsepower rating, but it would be, I mean, it would be close enough that it would pull it. So technically, we could get that right now, but I don't know. We'll plant this field and then we'll kind of see. Maybe we will upgrade to that one. Maybe we'll just wait. I don't know. I think we'll probably just wait. <coughs> and look into it next year when we can get a bigger tractor as well. It would definitely be nice to have a larger planner to kind of speed things up here, but I can live with it, I guess. Of course, when you run more land, you want to run the bigger equipment, but then sometimes you need more land to run more equipment and then it just kind of continues it's like oh well i'm running you know these many this many fields so i should get the seed hog when no really it's not necessary and yeah, just kind of that thing of you know thinking that you need more more equipment and larger equipment for more fields and stuff i mean it would be nice but in reality, we don't need it. We'll get through everything, but... It'd definitely be nice if ridge markers always, like, actually worked. You know, like, you could actually follow them. You could use that instead of GPS or... You know, being out of cab. I know some things people set them up correctly to where you can actually use it, but most things, not so much. Or else, just the way that you know the Giant's engine works in terms of putting down the you know the cloud strip or cultivated strip or whatever it's putting down, it just doesn't always put it where it really should be or it makes it bigger than it needs to be or anything like that so sometimes it does work sometimes not so much bad thing about these fields is it does take much longer and 
you know, more video to get things done. Of course, I prefer like the harvest time. I mean, I've had many people ask me what my favorite thing to do in farm sim is. I mean, I enjoy harvest more than anything else, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I really don't have a favorite. I pretty much like every doing every, everything in farm sim. Just some, you know, I look forward to a little more than others. But I wouldn't call them my, you know, favorites by any means, but I do enjoy harvest a little more than I enjoy like planting. Uh, but I think even in real life people enjoy harvest a little more because that's when you're making your money or get you know you're pretty close to making your money then and that uh, in real life that harvest time is when weight starts lifting off of your shoulders and you can start kind of relaxing a little bit you're not worrying about uh, crop being out in the field getting hailed on or whatever tornadoes coming through ripping it up anything like that of course when you do have it in the bins you do still kind of have to worry about stuff but you know like your bin bursting or um, fires even I'm sure I'm sure fires affect grain bins uh, still and high winds that kind of stuff and then once you get it sold then you're then you're pretty golden and you have no worries for a little while of course in farm sim you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff but hopefully it does snow this winter I know like the last winter um, when I was doing some playing I never could get it to snow but I did change the season's length uh, part way uh, for some reason uh, I think it was for the grain you know, to make it stay in winter time while I was fast forwarding to be able to get a great demand and so I think that kind of messed things up for me but that's alright and uh, I think we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna go ahead oops and refill before we get too far up the hill. This time I won't uh, put that up like that. I'll keep it down this time. We don't need it all the way up. We can reach this planter just fine from where it's at. It is kind of neat how you can use this trailer as just a normal, you know, tipper trailer or as the uh, tender trailer here kind of helps out with things all of our seed it would be kind of nice if the game had it had seed texture as something other than just a red wheat texture I mean when you zoom out it's not bad but it'd be cool if like for different crops there was different seeds like you could choose what kind of crop you're getting seed for you know so you have like different colors for different treat treatments uh, for different seeds. I think that'd be kind of neat. <coughs> All right, yeah, let's get this backed up a little bit. Yeah, I want to be able to grab a screenshot here.
the one thing that I do dislike about uh, the whole uh, heap or you know pile unload here whatnot with 17 is the fact that if you're missing a trigger by just a little bit it'll start making a pile on the ground uh, that's the one the only thing that I have to say that I don't like about uh, being able to just unload things anywhere <coughs> I mean it is definitely nice to be able to unload things anywhere you know you can just make a pile of stuff um, you know you could make a pile of fertilizer somewhere and then load it up as you need it or whatever but it does also kind of get to be a nuisance at times but I guess that's just how it goes minutes 35 seconds on the timer yet I could not imagine planting like field 31 34 23 24 any of those things with this planter that would be just insanity even field like three that's even pretty good sized I mean, I think the fields that we're running are about the max size that I would want to use this planter with. Before I'd want to get, like, the CCS or an air seeder or something. <coughs> we are going to have to get fuel at some point, too. Our usage isn't super high, though, so... Our fuel will last us a while yet, but oh, hey, now it's green before it looked black. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know, in like a video or two ago, I was looking at this and that was black. That was not green. Nice shiny alternator. Filters, other cylinder objects. Plane going by up there. Details like that are pretty cool. And like the flying, you know, the other flying objects in the sky birds, planes, helicopters, whatever. Definitely gonna add some stuff like that to my map. Some birds flying over. <coughs> I know maps, well like this map, it has uh, animated dogs and cats and stuff. I wanna look into that and see if I can't get, take like a deer object and animate that and get it to like run around the map in different places. I think that would be really, really cool. Or like some turkeys. I know there were some turkey objects. Um, I don't know how well they would work though, but I mean, even if it just kind of looked like they were gliding across the ground, I guess, it'd just kind of be the fact that they're actually moving that would make it kind of kind of neat. I don't know. I definitely am going to add the dog to my map. Um, see if I can add like a couple of them, get a couple different kinds of dogs. Because I know like... Um, uh, <coughs> uh, the at the real hell farms work farm 
there are a few dogs I know like Rocket um, I think I thought there was another one or something like that I don't remember off the top of my head Rocket is the one that I remember the most because Rocket's kinda in a video every once in a while I can't even remember now off the top of my head if there are other dogs or not some reason I thought there was, but it could just be me. Slowly knocking this field out. Slowly. That little field there wouldn't be a bad field to run either. And that would be, would you call that, like field 56? Maybe, I don't know, maybe we might. Well, we're running 12 fields now, so that means we can run four fields of three different crops, so I think we'll just leave it at that. I think we'll just stick to that. <laughs> it does kind of suck that all the fields are owned right away on this map, but... Because then you don't have... You don't have to, you know, pay for a new field. You can just go start running on it or lease it or anything like that would be nice but that's okay I guess Cough is definitely annoying me. Wish I could just get rid of it. Just just like that. Get rid of it. But I'm sure I'm not helping matters by recording video after video, but oh well. I gotta get stuff done. I'm not gonna let a cough slow me down. Or a sore throat. Just gonna keep on trucking. get pretty bright it is only just coming up on three o'clock in the afternoon in game so we don't have to worry about lights anytime soon now if we have to worry about lights it will probably be well I don't think we will I don't think it's gonna take like well I guess maybe I shouldn't speak too soon it may possibly take up to six more hours you know five or six more hours of planting but or before we fast forward to when we can plant sunflowers but uh, I would sure as heck hope not we do still have to get the sunflower header as well and for crying out loud I put sunflowers on the list of crops to plant I didn't even buy a sunflower header that's kind of ridiculous but oh well we'll get one uh, we just gotta pull the corn head off of the trailer and just park that somewhere and then we'll be able to put the sunflower header on the trailer um, I'll most likely just buy it and reset it drive the pickup in the combine over to the reset point and load it on the trailer drive it back to the farm and then unload it and then put the trailer away and then we'll just leave the header trailer you know empty and um, 
then whichever I mean we'll we'll be we could just as well leave the sunflower header on the trailer since that's what we're gonna be using this season but anyway guys that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that I've been taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.